everybody. So you just asked what helps with anxiety, with my anxiety, you know? It's a whole thing because now that I'm postpartum, it's like my anxiety is like a whole other level. So the ways that I deal with it, prayer, having fun, and what else? What else do I do? And, oh, going outside in the sunlight helps me a lot. Putting my feet in the grass helps me a lot. Grounding myself, realizing all of the blessings, the beautiful blessings that are around me, that helps me. But it's definitely, it's a learning process, you know, for sure. But I hope your anxiety gets better. Yeah. I honestly have no idea. <laughs> I don't know. This is a fun fact about me. I don't know anything about football. Like, anything. I don't know the rules. Nothing. So I'm honestly just going to see half time. Hey, girly. I don't know what your name on here is because you just have the cute emojis, but listen up. You feel down a lot of the time. I need you to go in the mirror, look at yourself, and be like, ooh, I'm fine as fuck. Excuse my language. Look in the mirror and be like, ooh, I'm fine. Ooh, I'm great. Ooh, I'm worthy. And take your ass to the gym. Yup. Because it's not, not because you need to go, but because it's going to make you feel better mentally. And yeah, just be like, you know what? I got this. And for me, I have like this rule. Like if I feel down or sad, I'll give myself like a full day just to be sad, just to watch TV, be in my mood that I want to be in, to chill, everything. But after that day. I say, I'm going to get my ass up the next day. I'm going to do what I want to do. I'm going to make the music I want to make. I'm going to get to this money in the way that I know I can. But I always try to say, get your ass back up. Because you got this, girl. You got this. Come on. Hey, Anna. You asked how's breastfeeding going. Honestly, it's hard as hell. Like, literally, I try to pump. But it's hard to keep up with the pumps. Like, because they say you're supposed to do, what, like seven pumps a day? I do not make those. Like, I do not do seven pumps a day. Because I'm, like, running around, trying to work, trying to take care of him. And it's like, I just forget. So then I only end up doing, like, on a good day, three to four pumps. But I know that's not good for your milk supply. So, honestly... Because it's been about a month and a half of breastfeeding. Um, And I know it's liquid gold and everything else, so I really want to try to keep going. Um, But, yeah, we'll just see how it plays out. Because I'm not a quitter. I don't want to give up. I just have to figure out how to do the adjustment with work and exclusively pumping and breastfeeding. It's just, it's a really hard thing to balance. Um, Yeah. Ooh, hi, Kara. You said, what can I do if my friend betrayed my trust and let my secrets out? First of all, that is not your friend. It's not your friend. I would say just tell them how you feel and then just say, I'm sorry, but I can no longer get into my life. Yeah, now is it your best, best friend? Have y'all known each other like five, six years? Like, what is it? Are y'all like sisters? What's the dynamic? Because if it's like that, where you think you can be repairable, you just got to be honest and be like, listen, girl, you hurt my feelings. This was wrong and she needs to apologize. And then maybe you guys can move forward. Hey, Makisha, you said, can you explain the process of releasing music? Okay, yes, I will. Because this is, I think what people don't understand is that the fun part for me is the creating that's always the best part that's always been my sister and i's favorite part probably any musician that you ask our love for music and art overpowers all of the i guess political stuff that you have to deal with after you're done making the music so first step 
you make the music. I have had a whirlwind last couple of years, and I've been so inspired musically, and I'm really, 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 really freaking proud of the music that I've made. I listen to it, and I'm just like, I feel really proud of myself, and my sister has heard some of the songs, and she's really proud of me, which makes me feel like, okay, I'm doing something right, because whenever I get her approval i'm like okay hello we got the genius's approval yes we're great so that's always the best part then once you are finished with that then you present it to your label okay you have to hear thoughts comments from them but usually you're in a really good situation where the people that are backing you believe in you that's my situation with columbia which i'm grateful for um and yeah, and then you, they they then put together a release plan because that's what labels do, and they're like, "This is the best time of the year to drop it." And then that's when all of the like political specifics come into play, and then that's that's why it's kind of a waiting game after that because it's like everyone is trying to like figure out what's the best time to release this. And it's like you're trying to jump into, I guess, what, just to finish what I was saying, I guess the best way to describe it is kind of like to jump into a like double dutch jump rope um, game or whatever that's been going. Like, I guess the game, if, I'm not making any sense because I'm sleepy now. But you know when you're like, this reminds me of the movie Jump In. Um, did you guys ever watch that? That was one of my, me and Chloe's favorite movies. Anyways, you know when they're doing double dutch and the ropes are going? That's how releasing music, like so much music is released all year, right? So you got to find your moment to jump in, you know, is the right moment. <laughs> if that makes any sense. I'm sorry if I don't make any sense. I'm going to take my ass to bed. <laughs> Okay, I saw this one and I really wanted to answer. Hi, Nana. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. But she basically is saying she dropped out of college because of her mental health. And she's taking care of her little brother all the time. So right now it feels like to health. And she's taking care of her little brother all the time. So right now it feels like he's her child rather than a little brother. And how can she tell her parents she's going to move out? for our mental health and well-being without them guilt-tripping you. So, I just want to say you're doing amazing. You're probably an amazing big sister. And the fact that you have taken on this whole, I guess, not burden, but it's a lot of pressure on you to take care of your baby brother, which is a beautiful thing as his sibling to be able to take care of him. But also at the same time, I would tell you, to sit your parents down and be like, you know what, I love you guys, but I have my own life to live, you know, because they've lived their lives, and you deserve to live yours, so I would just say that, and, you know, they love you, so they should understand, and yeah, yeah, Poseidon is at Moomoo's house, I have... I regrettably will say I literally need to learn how to um, divvy up my time between Poseidon and Halo because since Halo is so new, I have, I do feel like I've been neglecting my cat mommy duties a little bit, which I do feel bad about, um, but it's getting better. But yeah, he's at his daddy's house right now. Um, and yeah, we're going to go get him tomorrow, well, Monday. <laughs> we get mistaken as twins all the time, but honestly, I love it because I want to look like her.